Hey, what's up guys? It's Henry here again. Welcome back to another episode of Apparel Academy. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the differences and the pros and cons between a single needle embroidery machine and a multi-needle embroidery machine. Now, when many people start out with embroidery or they're completely new to embroidery, they think about a single needle embroidery machine to get them started. But what if you want to take your embroidery game to the next level beyond just the basics? In this episode, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of single needle embroidery machines versus multi needle embroidery machines and what they're best used for so that you can decide whether you want to upgrade or even get into a multi needle machine right from the start. All right, so before we dive right in, as always, make sure to smash that like button on this video, give it a quick thumbs up, it will greatly help out this channel. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already to keep up to date with the latest videos as soon as they come out. All right, so jumping right in, let's first give some context as to what are single needle embroidery machines and what are they best used for. First off, single needle embroidery machines are very inexpensive and they're much more mainstream. In fact, you can find them in big box retailer stores like Walmart or any craft stores like Michaels. Typically, you find these machines in a sewing and embroidery combo machine because a lot of the people that use these machines come from a sewing or craft background and they want both functionalities of sewing and embroidery combined into one single machine. And in fact, these single needle sewing and embroidery combo machines have really small footprint that can easily fit on a desk just like any sewing machine. Now, in terms of price point for these single needle sewing and embroidery machine combos, they're actually quite affordable and they can typically range from a couple of hundred dollars, like two, three hundred dollars, to maybe a thousand to two thousand dollars. There are many of these single needle combo machines on the market from companies such as Brother, Bernina, Janome, etc. So, who are these types of machines for? They're typically used by people with a sewing background that are looking to do more than just sewing and add embroidery to the mix. Maybe they want to do this as a hobby and can do some simple stuff with their sewing and embroidery machine combo and they get both value and both features rolled into one single machine. And these machines serve a purpose of embroidering something simple, maybe very easy to do designs like monograms or names or maybe anything under five colors, which I'll kind of go into detail later on why that matters. So now that you know kind of an overview of what single needle sewing and embroidery combo machines are used for, let's kind of jump into what are the pros of these type of machines. The first pro is that these machines are small, portable, very affordable, and easy to learn. Like I mentioned before, given their small compact size, you can fit them pretty much anywhere on a normal desk. And because they are very limited in terms of functionality, it doesn't really take a lot to learn how to utilize them. And at a low price point of just a couple of hundred dollars to get you started, really anyone can add on embroidery to their projects with a couple of hundred dollars of investment. Second, because of these single needle machines being typically sewing and embroidery combos, you really get more value out of one machine because you can do both sewing with it and embroidery. Next, these type of machines are really easy to learn and meant to get you started very quickly. Because of the minimum functions and also pre-digitized designs that are already built into these control panels, it's really meant for you to get started with embroidery without having to digitize. Finally, these single needle machines simply have an auto threading function, especially made for beginners so that they don't have to thread the needle themselves and it just does it for you. All right, now that you know some of the pros of these single needle combo machines, let's move on to some of the cons and considerations that you should keep in mind. First off, because these are single needle machines and I kind of alluded to this point before, you can only embroider one color at a time. And therefore it makes it very cumbersome for you to embroider multicolor designs because every time you change to a different color, you need to re-thread the entire machine in order for it to accommodate that new color of thread. That's why it's not really feasible to take on anything more than four or five colors in a project because it will just be too time consuming and cumbersome for you to keep on switching colors back and forth to accommodate these multicolor designs. Next, because of its compact size, it is very limited in terms of the embroidery field and the embroidery area. Typically, these single needle sewing and embroidery combo machines have a embroidery area of four by four inches or maybe six by 10 inches. 
As you can imagine, even though those areas can accommodate small designs such as on a t-shirt, on a polo shirt, it will be much more difficult to do something like a jacket back design or large designs to fit across a garment. In addition to the small embroidery field that can limit you on certain projects, these single needle machines also can't do structured caps or any tubular items. The next thing to consider is that these single needle machines simply have lower speeds than commercial multi-needle machines. They're typically around four to 500 stitches per minute, and that can be quite slow if you're doing something complex. Finally, because of the accessibility of these machines in big box retailer stores and craft stores, and you can just buy them off the shelf, they typically do not come with the training and the accessories for you to get started. So in summary, because of the low speeds, the fact that you can only embroider one color at a time and have to switch out colors every single time you embroider a different thread, and the fact that you're limited in the embroidery area and the variety of things that you can embroider, these machines are not really conducive for running a business, but it could be good for someone that's just getting started in embroidery because it's very easy to learn and especially inexpensive to get into. All right, so now that we covered the single needle sewing and embroidery combo machines, let's move on to the multi-needle machines and give a quick overview of what they are and what are they used for. So first off, the name multi-needle is kind of self-explanatory. It's more than one needle on the machine and they typically range anywhere between four needles to maybe 15 needles. Now I do wanna distinguish a common misconception between multi-needle machines and multi-head machines. So some people confuse multi-head machines with multi-needle machines. Multi-head machines are these large commercial embroidery machines that can embroider multiple items at the same time. And because they're really meant for a business, to run a business or a commercial production with, they most likely will have more than one needle on each head. Now in terms of pricing for these multi-needle single head machines, meaning you can only embroider one item at a time, but you have multiple needles on that single head, they typically can range between seven to $8,000 on the low end to something like eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars $19,000 on the high end. Typically, the people that are suitable for multi-needle machines break down into two different categories. The first category of people are just these more advanced hobbyists or people that are looking to start a home business but are limited on a budget. So they can go with the lower end of you know seven, eight thousand dollars for a starter machine, maybe something with six needles or ten needles, and that's robust enough to do these complex projects, but doesn't have as big of a sewing field as an embroidery field or have as many colors or as fast of a speed as these multi-needle commercial machines. So the second bucket of people are those that are really looking to do embroidery as a business and are looking to scale and not be limited by any functionality or embroidery field or the type of garments that you can embroider with the machine that you invest in. Typically, these people would go for a 50 needle commercial single head machine that's fully capable of running 24 hours a day, three different shifts, and are really durable and at faster speeds with huge embroidery areas to be able to accommodate your growing business. So jumping into the pros and cons of multi-needle embroidery machines. First off, let's start with the pros. Being that these are bigger investments, they typically come with all the accessories and tools that you need to get started right out of the box, as well as training and support. So you don't have to figure out things on your own, reading a manual. There's also tons of resources available watching videos, but you also get access to a live support team and a live trainer to be able to guide you on how to get started with your machine. For example, here at Recoma, we offer free training as well as seven days and after hour support for all of our machine purchases. That means if you're doing a project late at night because you're working full time or you're doing a project on the weekend for a client, you have someone to talk to and you also get dedicated guidance on learning your machine through the live training. If you kind of want to learn more about what to expect and what are some of the questions to ask in the training and onboarding process, I do have a video on this channel talking about that and what to expect in our training process and what are some of the questions that you should ask to maximize your training time. So if you want to check out that video on this channel, make sure to check it out on the card above and in the link below. The second pro along with getting the training and support that you need is having all the accessories that you need right out of the box. In fact, all of our Recoma machines come with a starter kit of supplies so you get samples of thread backing needles and other supplies for you to get started without having to buy them extra and also you get a taste 
for what you need out of the sample box, the sample starter kit, so that you know what's best for your needs. Some other companies will charge you extra for these type of accessories, so make sure to find out whether they're included in your package or they are something that's on an a la carte basis that you have to pay extra for because you want to know what your total investment is going to cost and what that comes with. But because of the differences of what's included in the package as well as the training and support that comes with it, I decided to do actually another video on this channel showcasing a comparison between the Brother and Baby Lock multi-needle machines versus the Ricoma multi-needle single head machines. So if you're interested to check out what are the differences between those multi-needle machines, check it out in the card above and I put it in the description below. Another pro of multi-needle machines is obviously being able to embroider multi-color designs without having to switch out thread every single time. The exact opposite of what a single needle machine is able to do. Most multi-needle machines have automatic color change systems that every time you have to switch to a different color, just program it in the machine beforehand, before you get started on the design, and it will automatically switch to that thread when it needs to embroider that color in that sequence. Next, because these machines are meant for production runs and for a commercial business, they are much faster than their counterparts with single needle machines. In fact, these multi-needle commercial single heads can run anywhere between 1,000 stitches per minute to even 1,200 stitches per minute at their maximum speeds. Now, along with the faster speeds, you also get a much larger of an embroidery area. Remember how I mentioned that single needle machines typically have a 4x4 embroidery area, maybe a 6x10? Well, with commercial embroidery machines, commercial single heads, you actually can get embroidery area up to 22 by 14 with the tubular hoops that come with the machine, or even have the option to add on an extended table to expand your embroidery area to use a sash frame of 48 by 14 inches, which is some of the options that we offer for specific models on Recoma machines that we have here. Okay, now moving on to some of the considerations and cons that you should keep in mind when deciding whether to upgrade to a multi-needle machine or jump right in to a multi-needle machine when you first get started. So right off the bat, commercial multi-needle machines are going to be a little bit more expensive and have a higher price tag. However, even with a slightly higher price tag of these multi-needle machines, what's great is a lot of companies offer financing to be able to allow you to afford these machines on a monthly basis at a very low affordable monthly payment. In fact, here at Recoma, we have 0% financing for all of our machines, and you're able to even finance single head machines for as low as $130 per month, and be able to kind of get started for a very low monthly payment. And before I forget, if you're interested to kind of learn more about the financing options that we have to offer, make sure to check out the link that I put in the description below, where you can contact one of our product specialists, and they'll kind of walk you through how to apply for the financing, and see if you can get started for as low as $130 a month. Next, with these commercial multi-needle machines, the learning curve is going to be slightly longer if you do not use the machine on a frequent basis. Because of its packed functionality and the complexity of multi-needle machines, they're definitely going to be harder to learn versus a single needle machine. However, that's not to say that this is rocket science, and precisely because of the fact that we have the training and the support and the resources available, you are able to climb that learning curve much faster. But just know that it's going to be difficult if you don't use it on a frequent basis, and it's definitely going to be a higher learning curve than a single needle machine that has limited functionality. Finally, because of the packed functionality of a multi-needle commercial machine, it has a lot more moving parts and therefore a slightly higher maintenance frequency and different parts that you have to oil or maintain on a regular basis versus a single needle machine that has a lot fewer moving parts. But again, as I mentioned before, these are things that you do with repetition and with guidance and knowledge of where to oil and with what frequency. Keeping your machine well maintained is only gonna make it last longer and it benefits you in the long run. And just knowing those off the bat and doing it with enough frequency will allow you to get good at doing maintenance on your machine on a regular basis. So in summary, these multi-needle machines are really good for those that are looking to turn their hobby into a small or even medium-sized business and to scale it further with more functionality and variety that you can offer to your customers. And especially with the affordability in terms of 0% financing, as I mentioned before, and a low monthly payment, as well as the training and support 
that Recoma offers for any machine purchases. We've also seen customers get into the embroidery business right off the bat with a multi needle machine because they can have the confidence that they'll have the support there to learn the machine and many have become successful being able to get started with a home business and make extra income doing what they love. All right guys, that's it for us for today. In conclusion, when you're investing in a multi needle machine or you're switching from a single needle machine to a multi needle machine in terms of an upgrade, you're really investing in the future of your embroidery business. In other words, what was once a hobby or a, just a supplemental source of income can now become your main bread and butter. If you're thinking about upgrading from a single needle embroidery machine to a multi needle embroidery machine, or you're looking to start or expand your apparel decoration business, make sure to check out our Rockstar lineup of starter and fully commercial multi needle machines and see which one's the best for you. Get in touch with a product specialist by clicking the link in the description below and talk to one of them and see whether you qualify for the financing and how we can get you started into a machine of your choice. Now, before you go, I want to remind you to join our free Facebook group, Embroidery and custom apparel mastery where there's now close to 19,000 embroiderers and custom apparel decorators in there sharing their experience and their knowledge and you can kind of see what machines they have and what kind of projects you can do with single or multi-needle embroidery machines. Finally, make sure to follow us on Instagram at RecomaHQ to keep up to date with the latest trends happening in the world of decorated apparel and be a part of the conversation there. Also, if you have any questions about today's episode or have a suggestion or recommendation of what you want to see in a future episode, make sure to comment below and you might be responsible for a future video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time.